All right, Shalom, I'm Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. All right, this is Brother Yahweh Sap with another lesson. Um, and uh, this is something that I've kind of just been pondering on for uh, for a few days, you know, just kind of meditating uh, upon. I don't really have any scriptures lined up, just this one scripture. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> which as you can see is in the book of ecclesiastes chapter seven uh but pretty much man i've just kind of been pondering on this because you know we we go through hell on a daily basis man and if if going through hell don't doesn't make you mad what do you what are you here for man you know if being oppressed and being uh downtrodden all the time doesn't make you mad then, then you then you're a blind man man I right? because right now we we are in our we are in our the ultimate hell you know the so called white man a child the red Hebrew Edomite rules over us the woman rules over us man we can't see our children and be happy I right? you you're stuck at a dead end job okay and with no hope that you're hope and and now you're hoping for a paycheck okay Esau has um all these vaccines out uh so called vaccines to, to help save you when really it's really it's destroying you. OK, he, he the the medicine he gives, it, it doesn't help you. All right. It doesn't cure you. Should I say it just allows you to continue to live on with that current disease that you have. All right. The food you eat is polluted. The air you you breathe is polluted. The water you drink is polluted. All right. There's no peace upon the planet Earth. OK, this man takes your children um, day in and day out. He takes your women, rapes them, kills them, tortures them, whatever he does behind closed doors, man. All right, this man, it, the, the wicked is in rule right now, and and here we are having to work dead end jobs for this man to to live in a in a, a one bedroom, a two bedroom, a three bedroom apartment. All right, barely affording rent. All right, barely a, able to uh, feed yourself, even uh, uh, moreover your family. All right, everything you do, you can't, you don't have your own land. Okay, you don't have, you really don't have anything in your name. Even if you have a, say you have a car, the title's in your name. If you, if you uh, um, miss any payments or, or you pull a loan out on it or however that happens, or, or you park in the wrong spot, man, Esau can take it away from you, man. Right, you really don't own anything here. Not even your own children. All right, what do you think the social security is? The birth certificate. All right, if Esau feels that you're an unfit parent, what does he do? He comes in your home and he takes your children away. All right. You know, he has all these lands restricted. Okay. Nothing here is profitable unto us, man. Nothing here is is helping us. That's why we need Yahabashimel Shah to come back and redeem us out of this place, man, because this place is is hell. Okay, and this is something that I've just been pondering on. Alright, and something that's just making me angry, man. I haven't been and it I haven't been the same, man. Ever since I started just really, really pondering on this and really meditating upon this, man. Because everything here is just vanity and vexation of the spirit. All right. So I want to go ahead and get this. Uh, uh, this is going to be the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. And it reads, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and the gift destroying the heart. That's right. Oppression maketh a wise man mad. So if you, if, if you are angry at this place, man, you're wise. All right, because this place, this place is not profitable, man. You know, even these celebrities, these celebrities you see on TV, they look like they have it all. They look like they balling. All right. But really, if you watch, you watch these uh, videos about what these celebrities and everything that's going on, they don't really have money, man. <laughs> they've been, they've been and seen uh, people with more money than them, man. More money than they can even fathom. And they're millionaires, man. Some of them billionaires. And they, they still haven't scratched the surface of riches, man. <laughs> All right. So oppression making the wise man mad. Our people are downtrodden. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, according to the Bible. is it, You're downtrodden, man. There's nothing here for you to be happy about. Here you are celebrating. Here you are celebrating um, the downfall of your people. Thanksgiving, man. Then you're going to celebrate Christmas. All right. You celebrate Easter. You celebrate Halloween. These are all. These are all things that that Esau has pushed upon you all right to better serve him all right don't even get me started on Christianity <laughs> or any of these other uh, these other religions so-called religions that you follow man this place is complete and utter hell from there real quick I have I had a uh, 
I don't believe it's in this one. Okay, let me see. I know. I know for a fact it's in it's in this book. Vanity and vexation. All right, it's lucky. Yeah, you're looking for it right now, man. Like I said, I didn't have anything really lined up, other than that, because this place, this place, I've just been angry, <laughs> angry lately, man. Been wanting to just destroy this place because this place is hell. All right, you can't do anything. You can't have the woman you you love. All right, you can't uh, have the children that you love. Okay, you can't have your own home without Esau uh, trying to take it away from you, man. All right, there's this government that's supposed to protect you or help you. All right, is a uh, 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 is uh, completely and utterly against you, man. The only one who can save us save us out of this is the How about Shemuel Shai, man? All right, but I found it. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse two. It says, "Vanity of vanities," saith the preacher. "Vanity of vanities, all is vanity." What profit hath, hath a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. That's right. So all this is vanity. All this is all is vanity. <laughs> all right. You you nothing here. If it's not the kingdom, man, it it, it doesn't matter. All right, because everything here is gonna uh, is gonna rust and corrupt. That's why the scriptures tell you to place your 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 uh. Your um, treasures up in the up in heaven, man. All right, so real quick, I'll, I'll go ahead and get that as well. Things above. Oh my God, I spelled it wrong. Oh, it's lucky, man. On. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. If ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things in the, on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach and Yahweh. All right. That's right. So right now we're dead, man, because uh, because Yahweh Shai is the one who holds the life. And if you ain't serving Yahweh Shai, you're dead. Right, that's why it tells you in uh, the book of uh, Ezekiel, I believe it's uh, the 38th chapter about the dry bones being being uh, uh, risen up again. All right. Pretty much. All right. But this isn't exactly the one I wanted to get. Where. Um, above all things. Con. Moth. Con. I found it. Okay. Cons. So this is Matthew 6. And verse uh, 19, so it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and dust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor dust corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That's right. So you got to lay things up for yourselves in heaven, man. Did everything here, you know, a car you have, a woman you have, all right, uh, children, if you ain't serving your about your mouth shot, all that will pass away, man. All right, the Xbox, the PlayStation, all right, that nice apartment, nice house you have, all right, all the money you make or so-called money, all right, all the so-called riches you have, all of it is going to pass away if you ain't serving your about your mouth shot. All right, because you're not laying things up for yourself in heaven. All right, everything here gets moth, it gets dust, dusty and cor uh, corrupted, man. And then people, not not only that, as it said, thieves can break in and steal your shit uh, with the quickness, man. And completely and utter utterly spoil you and your household, man. All right, and then kill you. <laughs> all right, if they don't want any witnesses. So this place is all just vanity and vexation of the spirit, man. If you ain't angry at this place... All right, then you need and you know the truth and you're not angry at this place, man, that you need to you need to search within or, or pray to your Shah that they put that fear upon you, man, because this place is going down and you see it. This place is is, is done for. All right, this place, it, it, it needs to go. It's nothing but but vanity and vexation of the spirit. This, this place has no has no right being here about uh, with all the wickedness that's here and that's why how about is going to come back and destroy this place and put righteousness upon the planet earth man 
And if you if you ain't getting with that, then you're against it and you're going to go down, too. All right. So with that being said, man, I want to give all praises, honor, honor and glory once again unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash. All right. Double honor to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who are the true elders and apostles over all Israel. All right, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, and may you brothers and your sisters who fervently and uh, sincerely believe on this truth continue to believe and hate this place and keep continuing to pray for its downfall, man. All right? So with that being said, Shalom.